When we looked to start to do this project, we needed a builder who would really respect the heritage. What we wanted to preserve was the four generations of experience, because we hope four more generations will follow in enjoying this home. And its location makes it part of the community in a very hallmark manner. It's a landmark property in this town, so we wanted to do it right. And that was the criteria we were looking for when we chose a builder like Daniel. My sister and I both feel the same way. We didn't want it to uh, leave the family. My girls had been coming down here every school break, Easter, or summer vacation, Christmas to visit with their grandmother, and everybody just had an unbelievable attachment uh, to the house. And we knew that it started out with um, a limitation on bedrooms and basically one bathroom in the house and we wanted to take it and make it into a comfortable home for our retirement and also to preserve what was here. We were doing this long distance mostly yeah. from about 800 yeah. miles away and so while I came pretty often during the process I couldn't be here all the time and I think that's probably good in, in, in a lot of ways. Sam, our project manager, kept me updated every week with pictures and videos and emails and never hesitated to call if he had uh, a question or whatever. So we felt like we were a huge part of the process, even though we weren't physically living in this uh, area. When the project was started, it was about 2,600 square feet of usable space, and now it's about 4,000. One of the things that's been most impressive in the process of remodeling is upstairs was a partially finished bedroom and bathroom, kind of a storage area. But then there was a whole unfinished part of the attic up towards Mechanic Street. And what we've done is add tremendous amounts of space by claiming all of that back and making it living space, very usable, elegant living space. To see a lot of the original homes, accent features and resources used in this one has given it a specially nice meaning for us. And we're very grateful to them for their awareness, their constant awareness. You don't get there by cookie cutter, in and out, uh, stranger, relationships. You do it by really caring about your clients, about really listening to them. All the touches like that that once remained in the house um, mean so much to us in the fact that the trim on uh, the windows and the doors and the hardware, doorknobs and such, just a very thoughtful um, process. Since our family has been in the Pendleton community for so long, um, so many people in the community were so excited about this project and I've had countless people that reached out to me, reached out to my sister Lee and said, we can't believe what's going on at your home in Pendleton. It's just absolutely amazing. It's been our project, but it's also been a community project in, in a lot of ways. And, and uh, this is a beautiful small town in upstate South Carolina. It has so much to offer. Um, this whole area does now. We also feel like that we have, uh, with a lot of help, preserved some of the history yeah. of this town. I came yesterday from Chicago and the wow factor, it was very powerful. Especially when you walk in from the hallway and you come into the great room here, it's really remarkable. Especially if you have the memory of the prior residents. It's unbelievable to see the transformation and it really is like a dream come true for me having grown up in this house and all my family life was here. It, it, it was a breathtaking transformation. I expected them to build a nice home. They have a wonderful reputation when we signed the contract. I didn't expect uh, a 50 out of 10 and this is going to be the last home we own. We look to be here for the duration. Uh, we feel wonderful about this remarkable job that was done.